Hello everyone, this is Tech Bismo and welcome back to another video. And in this video, everybody, this is going to be a quick little video showing you guys the best software for Linux. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. So the first uh, software that I have is Firefox. Uh, Firefox is an open source uh, and free web browser. It is a very fast and speedy web browser. I really like um, Firefox personally. Um, yeah, um, another web browser that I have, uh, it's another software that you can get in Linux. It is Chromium Web Browser. This is also open source. Uh, you know, it doesn't require stuff like Flash Player unless, you know, it's those websites that actually do require Flash Player, and, you know, but Flash Player's dying anyway. So, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Firefox and Chromium are the two web browsers for this video, the two best, um, the two of the best uh, web browser softwares for uh, Linux. Um, so on to the next software, the next best software. Um, th this is actually not being done in ranks. This is just, you know, the software listed. Um, the next software that I have for you guys is Open Broadcaster Software. Um, so this is a free and open source uh, streaming slash recording software for Linux or Windows or Mac. You know, you can get it in any of those. Um, you know, it's very nice um, as long as you have uh, good graphics drivers. You don't even need, need uh, great graphics drivers, just as long as you have the uh, the uh, good um, integrated graphics that they uh, that they uh, require for this. Then then you're good. Um, you know, it's not very heavy on CPU. Uh, I think the most you need is just like eight gigabytes of RAM, a Core i3, and then uh, you know some kind of uh, okay uh, integrated graphics uh, GPU. So yeah, uh, especially it runs especially well on OBS. Uh, my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, if, you know, if you are that kind of YouTuber person like me and pseudo Linux that likes to uh, you know record and upload to YouTube, um, OBS would be a good software to choose from. On to the next software, we have VLC Media Player, and VLC Media Player uh, it it is a uh, open source, free and open source. Um, media player for Linux, not just Linux, not only Linux, it is for Mac OS and uh, it is for Mac and Windows as well. Uh, but again, I my personal opinion is that it runs the best in Linux. Um, my next software is Telegram Desktop, well, Telegram Messenger. Um, so it is a uh, messaging app for Linux, Mac, and uh, PC as well. Uh, you know, if you do not know, PC just means uh, Windows. It's it's a Windows 10 computer or personal computer, whatever you prefer. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a really great messaging um, app for Linux. And you know, basically, you just put in your phone number, and then uh, you know, uh, your friend that you want to text or something uh, just has to get the same app, and then you're ne you know, you're able to text them from iOS, from Android, from. Uh, you know, all all other kinds of operating systems and stuff. So, uh, you know, you can do from phone to computer, uh, computer to phone, you know, uh, other applications uh, or uh, other operating systems. You can also do it online. Uh, there's an online version. It's called, like, Telegram um, Online or something. I don't know what it's called, but, yeah. So the next program that we have is GNU Image Manipulation um, Program. So this stands for GIMP, and uh, it is a very good... Um, good um you know Im image manipulator as it says right here uh gnu image manipulation system uh system i apologize program um and as you can see it says gnu uh you know gnu slash linux that means it was originally designed for linux however they have uh they have um added it to windows and uh mac if you would like that um so yeah, basically, I'll just I'll open this one up since you you guys probably know what all the other ones do. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, you know, you can go ahead and just um, I'll do single window mode. Oops, open that back up. Here we go. So yeah, um, basically, you can go ahead and grab an image and then manipulate it how you want. You know, you can go to filters. You can start drawing, adding text and stuff. Uh, it comes with super good. Um, wonderful uh, tools and stuff, which I will, uh, later on, for a future video, I will be doing a review um, of GNU 
uh, image manipulation manipulation program. All right, on to the next uh, software. The next application is Caden Live. Caden Live is a editing software for Linux, uh, made specifically for Linux, but you can also get it for, I believe, just Windows. I don't know if you can get it for Mac, but that'll have to be that'll be something that you guys will have to look up. Um, yeah, it's a very good editing software uh, made uh, especially for Linux, as I said uh, previously. Um, so, you know, as I said at the beginning of this video, if you are that kind of YouTube person or you just like to make videos and edit uh, and, you know, just do that kind of stuff, then Caden Live is the way to go. Caden Live is a non-linear non video editing software by KDE. Um, yeah, it's a very, um, you know, the, the newest... Um, Update is a little bit buggy, but however you can, however you can um, go to a little bit of an older and more stable update of Caden Live if you would like that. Okay, guys. So on to the next software slash program. You know, you can call what you want. This video is actually probably going to be called uh, Best Programs for Linux. Um, so the next one that we have is um, uh, GNOME Software Center. So uh, basically, it's just called software on here, but uh, you know, it's it's a really good software center. So this was originally designed for GNOME des the GNOME desktop environment. You know, distributions of Linux that that use the GNOME desktop environment, but you can also get it on any uh, desktop environment uh, that you would prefer. Um, so you know, this has really good applications. You know, um, you got apps like Caden Live, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, as you can see, it's <clears throat> right there, and to in simply install, you just go to here and then click install. Um, so yeah. Um, and you know you can search for more apps like games like Super Tux Cart, so you got that right there, or Super Tux, you know stuff like that. So it's got plenty of good games. Uh, here's some of the applications that I have, like uh, Archive Manager at the top, Audacity, uh, GNOME Discs, GNOME Software, you know which is this software, uh, and GNU Image Manipulation Program, Gparted as you saw. Uh, right there, handbrake, you know, just the basics, really cool applications. There will be a part two to this video, but this one's just uh, the uh, best, the eight best applications uh, for Linux programs for Linux that run, that run best on Linux. So yeah, uh, you know, I might, ma I might make a video of Gpart and stuff, you know, applications that you will want to get on Linux or something. So yeah. Well, anyway, guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will leave a link in the description to all of these websites that have websites, which um, I believe, yeah, all of these have websites. So um, I'll leave a link in the description to all of these websites. So anyway, guys, that is it. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for stopping by, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.